Are you drowning in the weight of bulky RCA cables? Do you wish that you could transmit high quality video over subterranean cables using lasers? Does it hurt you, your moral conscious knowing that audiophiles have had access to sending sound via optics for decades, but they were using digital technology? Do you wish you had the same access to high technology transmitting video over light, but in the analog domain, maintaining the pure theatrical presence that only analog can provide, the intimacy of close-ups, the majesty of landscapes, all in the analog domain? Well, up until today, that really has not been an option for you. But inspired by a video from Sharia over at the Signal Path, I've decided to make a new technology available using these cables, thin fiber optics, and some boards that I cobbled together using parts from around the lab. Introducing a system that I call Voslink, or Voslink, pronunciation still to be decided. Anyway, come on in, let's have a look at the desk and I'll show you what I've been up to. Uh, sorry for the messy desk, the uh, lack of uh, frame sync, um, but I got a meeting in a few minutes and I really wanted to share this with you. So let's take a look and see what we have here. Here we have the two parts of the Voslink system. We have a transmitter and a receiver. Right now I've just got a little red LED here and a random photodiode that I wish I had the data sheet for um, on the receiving end. Uh, to get the signal, we've got a video coming in. It's NTSC right now. We'll do some uh, uh, high definition stuff in a bit. Uh, coming in here, it goes into a two stage op amp. Um, let's see if I can remember what this does. I think the first thing to do is offset the signal so it's above the forward voltage of the LED. And then I've got some current limiting via this knob here. So if I limit the current, the image gets darker. Um, quick reminder, the brightness of an LED is proportional to how much current is flowing through it. And this LED, I've tested it with my signal generator, you know, which goes up to 40 megahertz, and I can transmit 40 megahertz just fine with this LED. The photodiode is a more complicated beast. Um, I believe this is a pin diode, so uh, P-doped, intrinsic, and then N-type silicon. Um, it generates a current in the presence of light. I, I wish I had the data sheet here. I'm not even sure what the most sensitive wavelength is for this photodiode. It really just came from my random parts bin labeled optoelectronics. Um, it's reversed uh, biased uh, to reduce the capacitance. Sorry, I was getting some video feedback. Um, uh, reducing the capacitance means it has higher bandwidth. Interesting things about depletion regions and stuff that you can go Google if you want to learn how that works. That bias current uh, is, or bias voltage, sorry, is set by this potentiometer here. Then it goes through an amplifier. And you can see, hopefully, on the scope in the background, the blue trace and the yellow trace. Oh, they've moved out of alignment because my um, optical workbench method of uh, masking tape is not holding things perfectly aligned. Um, but you can see the two traces uh, up on the screen and they overlap nicely. And clearly, here we have video. Um, let's break out the hot glue gun. This really is a. Uh, parts bin project um, and send this over some fiber. Okay, hot glue is just nasty. Um, but I have a better solution than hot glue. I have this little laser diode that I pulled out of a uh, cat laser pointer thing. Um, I don't have a data sheet on it, although I do know that it has a little uh, hologrammy diffraction thing in there that can project a picture of a cat. I've removed that part. But luckily, a Toslink cable fits directly in the end of the laser diode. And we have laser. And uh, you can't see, um, but I've moved the, the TV out of the way. Um, I wanted to see if I could do some HD. And I've connected it up to my spectrum analyzer. Um, and we're not quite getting the bandwidth that I was hoping for. Um, it looks like <laughs> we might have 5 megahertz of bandwidth, so it's probably fine for... Uh, that's 3db um, for for NTSC or PAL. Um, you can trade off bandwidth a little bit for for gain. Um, maybe I could push 20 megahertz out of this um, with some degree of fidelity. But uh, that's the joy of working with a photodiode that I don't know about and a laser that comes from a cat pointer and um, just cobbling this together. But we have light video being transmitted via laser. That's pretty cool.
So I may not have achieved the bandwidth that I was looking for, but I think I want to close with what I think is a pretty impressive demo. Do you see that little red dot up there? That is the laser shooting from way across the other side of this room. Got the TV set up here, a little janky power supply. And let's do some more precision optical alignment work. Where is that red dot? Oh. Ta-da! I'm not holding it very still. Uh, but that is video being sent across free space with a photodiode and a lot of really bright studio lights. Um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I think I'm going to call this project done. It was silly. Um, I had some fun ideas that I might do with it, like uh, setting up mirrors and reflectors and changing delay lines. And Anyway, um, this has been a fun little project. Nice to get back on the horse. Is that a phrase? Anyway, see you in the next one. Bye.